in. Let that connect and in just a brief moment, we will have this. Uh, Jess says, just have to say, this has inspired me to finally sit and organize my photos, but unfortunately I decided to update to High Sierra first, so it might be tomorrow before I can get started. That's fine. Um, you know, I think it's good to just get up on the latest because that's what we're showing here anyway, and you will be, uh, you'll be good to go. Okay, so now let's take a look at this setup. I haven't, I thought I'd fixed the crop. I didn't readjust the crop for the iPhone 10. this skinnier when you're vertical. Anyway, um, all right, let's take a look at what we've got in here. A few key things. We've got our pictures in there. There's the pictures that I just imported. And if I wanted to move those into another album, I could tap select up in the top right, click on those two, and then at the bottom it says add to. Add to, and now I can choose an existing album. I can also dig into folders. So if I tap on 2017, now I'm in there, or these, which is actually when these were shot. Uh, or I could you know, create a new album. There's the new album button right there in the top left. Go back to the top level. Again, new album there in the top left. So I can create that new album and they will get moved into there. Nice and easy to do. Let's cancel that. Let's go into the albums view and see the albums that I've got in here. So now we have an album structure that matches what's on my computer. It's not all screwed up like it is on the iPad. And you'll see all of the albums we've created. So there's the My Albums, there's 2015, 16, 17, 18, and so on. Let's just pretend that I shot these in 2018 because that's, you know, that's what year it is. I go in here and it says empty folder. This folder creates no albums. Now here's the first kind of curiosity. Let me back up. Notice in the top left there's a plus. If I tap on the plus, it says new album. Do you want to create a new album? Okay, I can type in the name and create an album, but that's going to create it at that top level. I don't, I don't want to create it there. I want to create it inside of this 2018 folder. Where's the plus? You have to tap edit first. Once you tap edit, now I've got the plus, and now I can hit the plus and create a new album. Weird, right? Okay, while we're here, let's just say that I didn't want to create an album. Let's say I wanted to create a folder. I want to create a subfolder. There's no folder button, but there is. It's just hidden. I don't know why these things are hidden, but they're hidden. Tap and hold on the plus, and now you get a new album or new folder option. Hmm, curious. So we're gonna go ahead and create a new album, and I'm gonna call this New York, because that's what that was. No, that wasn't, what am I saying? That was New York, that was Sacramento. Good God, Sacramento. There we go, Sacramento, hit save. And now that I've created an empty album, because remember, I'm no longer in the move to thing, it's saying, up at the top, it says add photos to Sacramento. I can choose photos to add on there, or I can just tap on done, and it'll create an empty one. But since I just created these photos, imported these photos, uh, let's go back to collections. Let's go to albums and look at all photos, because see, the thing is, in the all photos, I'm seeing them in the order that they were brought in. You've just watched a five-minute sample of a live training video. To see the rest of it, head to photoapps.expert slash live, where you can purchase and download it, or sign up as a member. Members can stream any live training video as often as they like and have access to video tips and other exclusive member bonuses. To learn more about membership, head to photoapps.expert slash member.